Assalamu alaikum, respected brothers and elders. I'd just like to share a few words with you all about my experience on Itikaf this year. Nice. You yeah, haven't told me what to say, okay? It's not set up. It's not my ticket, you know. I just told him to. 12 months of the year, 11 months of the year, we all get busy with our own lives. We do everything, we don't have a lot of time. Especially me, to be honest, that's why I chose to come to Itikaf. For 11 months of the year, we were doing enough for what we should do extra things and run down the blessed month. Everything's times by 70 and you get double the reward. So I felt I should have come to Etikaf this year. When I arrived at Etikaf, I was a bit scared. I didn't know what to expect. I came before for three days, but I have never done the full 10 days before. So I didn't know what to expect. I came here and the first thing I seen was all these brothers smiling and talking and loving each other. And it was a great, really good connection. So from the beginning, from the beginning, I got really happy. So the first day when it's the first day was the longest day. I was thinking, oh, how long is it going to be? <laughs> after the bit, I got used to it. Started reading more Quran. Tried to nearly finish more Quran. Mashallah. I read all the did not my fills, everything like the other day we did not my fill. Everybody started to join in, and I just feel that. I could become a better Muslim like this. Okay, a better connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, get closer. Also, I'd like to say Jazakallah to everybody who's helped me do this and everybody who's participated as well also. It's a great human. And finally, I'd like to thank all the staff, all the people who are Sahri time, study time, the Paul, the help, the give everything out. They've got um, Rose as well. They've been fasting all day, but still they take their time out to serve us and that's why it's MashaAllah, JazakAllah Not another brother, Mash. we had some brothers from Keithri, we had some brothers from Halifax we had a brother from Birmingham and we had some brother from Manchester Masha, one of the brothers did dua yesterday brother Khabib MashaAllah, did dua yesterday, you know, beautiful dua Allah ta'ala reward him so I request uh, brother Usman and he's from Manchester, Manshallah. 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 And uh, this is the full 10 days. The five days you did my. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Wa alaikum, uh, salam. Um, I've never been on a mic before, it's a bit of pressure. Um, but like I say, five days I've done it to Carthay, hey, brothers. I was initially meant to be going to uh, Mosque in Blackburn till uh, one of my brother, brother Habib, was here doing it for 10 days at the Carf. And um, one of my mates come to see him and he explained that how obviously they've got activities going on and etc. But the mosque, like I say, you go sit, you go sit your kadaf, you do your own stuff, and just join in with the namaz and etc. So I decided, okay, I'm going to come here. It's pretty far away, it is with me, I can't stay away from home for too long as well. I start missing home and get homesick. <laughs> um, so I decided, okay, I'm going to come here first time, turn my phone off and everything, no contact with the outside world. So, uh, come on the first day, turn the phone off. That's all right. It's a bit difficult looking around, didn't know anybody. But much as soon as I walked in, brother, like uh, I don't know what I'm saying, everybody was smiling, helpful. Somebody opened the door straight away, and I was thinking, you know, what, what, what's going on here? Like, everybody's so helpful and smiling and cheerful. Literally, the second day around, brother, everyone started coming to the tent, doing salam. Everybody introduced, are you from Manchester? Yeah. Um, it was just the experience was like I said out of the world, it's just everybody's going to feel so comfortable there. Eh? I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's worth a bad thing to say, but I've never remembered at home. So I don't even look at home, it's just my knees are in so much pain, it just made me realise that how behind I am. Because to be honest with you, my, my knowledge on Islam is very little, obviously I've been born a Muslim, but I, I hang around and do all sorts, we read Namaz, Jumma Namaz. Here and there, I'll read Salah. Like I said, I've not been never read it five times. Um, my facial hair, I grew like a month before Ramadan, because I thought people are growing beards. Let's just see, let's just see what my facial hair looks like, to see where it grows. So I shall all the brothers here were looking at uh, pictures of me before that, when I had no facial hair, and they're all saying, no, no, you look better with facial hair. Mashallah, mashallah. I think, keep it, but what I realise with obviously facial hair comes a big responsibility as well. There's a lot of things you need to do to obviously keep a beard, and, and one of them is obviously keep up with your Salah. And, it's more like I say, it makes you feel more mature. Sure, like I say, you feel, you feel as if you have a responsibility to keep. And mashallah, 
So brothers like to say it's just it's just made this off my eyes really of like I've joined in with the all the and everything that they've been doing and getting involved just being like a really new experience. I've never done my wudu so many times. I'm ashamed to say, but I've never, like I said, joined in with full five namaz in a whole day. Um, it's just, it's been a new experience for me. It's like a lifetime around and change. I was talking to my brothers in the tent as well, and I was saying, to be honest with you, we wish it wasn't five. I didn't even know what Nuffli was. So everybody started saying to me, oh, you're doing Nuffli in the car. And I was saying, what's that? And they said, oh, you can, you can go out of the mosque. And I said, but I don't want to go out of the mosque. So one of the brothers was like, I think it was far from me. And I said, brother, I don't want to leave the mosque. And he said, you can't leave the fleet. But I said, I didn't know. Inshallah, next year my plan is to do full 10 days. Inshallah. 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 So a lot of the time to go to spa again. <laughs> uh, but it's just the experience that I've had has been unique, brothers. And like I said, I was saying to the brothers in there, we have more days in here. We just don't feel like leaving. Everybody's made me feel so comfortable in here. Mashallah, my heart goes out to all the stuff in here. It's just nobody's ever shouted, nobody's ever said anything wrong. It's just everything's held with so much love. And what I come to realize is it's, it's all that love that they give that it just it forces somebody from inside to become a better person. Mashallah. Because I realize when you force people, it's, never, it's always their own decision. But you know, the amount of love people have shown us in here is. It's unbelievable, like people serving us when uh, with our Rosa and Masha, they brought our Rosa themselves as well. And brother, it, it does bring taste in the eyes because I think that uh, have I been a bad person or do I need to sort myself and make myself better? But inshallah, I'm going to come in next year. Inshallah. There's more brothers as well that come to visit <coughs> us. And if I come in and join them on Merfell, inshallah, they've said as well next year they want to come. And, I know the population has been going higher and higher as the years go on, but inshallah next year we'll have more and more. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. But inshallah, we'll just pray that I keep on my spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And another thing is, for, um, me and uh, my fellow friends that have come from Manchester to do the golf, um, inshallah, pray it works out. We've decided that hopefully when we go back to Manchester, somewhere or another, we want to raise. Money for this place as well. Inshallah, brother Imran wants to come forward. I why is it graph is uncle? Why is it graph is uncle pastor? And he's still here with us. I request him to you know, say a few words. He's also a student, Masha, who's studying the you know, Dasi Nizami, the part time on weekends, attending Saturday, Sunday, 10.30 to 2.30. So he's been studying that for the you know, for 20 weeks of Hungary. Assalamu alaikum. Just want to start by congratulating everyone for these past 10 days. Uh, we've all come a long way. And it, wasn't, it wasn't easy. For anyone that said it was easy, I don't think they tried hard enough. Uh, it's, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Uh, keeping away from family, you know, not sleeping as much, because I'm one of them who needs full 12 hours sleep so I can function in the morning. Uh, you know, as you can see, um, I like my food, so you know, keeping away from all of them. Chocolates and crisps are hard as well. And um, yeah, they said my, my uncle passed away yesterday. So they kind of... Um, kind of took me by surprise because I didn't expect it because I was having so much um, fun here doing ibadat as well. It wasn't one of them things where you're forced to pray because I came here by choice because I wanted to change myself for the good. I had a choice yesterday to either break my itikaf and go to, do, to the janaza or stay here. And I uh, came to a decision that my link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was a lot more important than my link You know, it's amazing that 150 odd, you can say strangers because 
we barely knew each other before this, even though we're brothers now. It's amazing how we got along so well. You know, no arguments, no no quarrelling. You know, no bickering, no no backbiting, nothing like that. In the outside world, there's never been a day where, you know, you don't argue with your friends, you don't fight with over little little things. And in here, we got along so well, you know, without even knowing each other. We didn't even know our, our names or all come from different different backgrounds. It should teach us that when we're out there, we should use the same or all, you know. Everything we've learned here, we should take it out there. We've, we've, we've learned things from each other. I've learned things from people who are 12 years old in here. You know, Imam Asim's little brother was only 12. And he's um, playing games with... I was there and he's playing games with the other Hafiz, who's, mashallah, Hafiz of the full Quran. And he's only Hafiz of uh, four body. And they, they're playing a game where... They start a, a, a surah and the um, other person had to finish it off, and uh, he'd always win. He, you know, he'd, he'd be the, the hafiz, hafiz of the full Quran. So it, it gave me a, a confidence of um, learning the Quran more. Because I signed the camp last year as well in the Hilton Masjid, and um, I opened the Quran after a long time. And when I opened it, I was so ashamed of myself because I couldn't recite it like I used to. It took me around six hours to read my first para. And I cried and cried and cried, thinking, you know, what have I become, what have I been doing all these years? And then I made a promise to myself last year in the that I'm going to try my best to get myself back where I was. <laughs> and Alhamdulillah, now I can recite the Quran like I never left it in the first place. <laughs> and it was a struggle, but it was worth it. Everything's a struggle in this, in this life. If it, was so, if it was so easy, it wouldn't be worth it at the end. Like my uncle that passed away, may Allah please forgive him. Amen. 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 I remember he used to finish a para and he used to say, oh, whoever finishes it, I'll give, you, I'll give him 50p. He was small. And, and I'd always try to, to finish it first. Because those days, you know, two transformer crisp packets and three crisp packets. You know, like the saddles. <laughs> you make it there, even though it's a bit expensive now. And uh, I'd, always, I'd always come first. And uh, it reminded me of what he said then. But you know, now this about it that we've done in the past 10 days is worth a lot more than 50p, I tell you that much. You know, the, the, the reward, reward range that I'm going to get in the next life it's, it's unimaginable. It's pleasure. I don't know a single brother in here who hasn't cried. I've seen everybody cry in these past 10 days. The amount I've cried, you know, it's, it wasn't something we had to do. Nobody was watching us, you know. No person was watching us. But Allah SWT was watching us. And he knows how sincere it was. Each, each drop that came out was, there had so much emotion, so much feeling. You know, listen to all the brothers doing dua. Yesterday as well, Buddha Habib, he made me cry. I don't even know him. But we got this connection with each other. You know, we need to, the bottom line is we need to come together now and do all this outside, the test is out there. This is, this is our preparation. The real test is out there. You know, I've, nearly, I've never really completed something all the way to the end in my whole life. Like, I was a bright kid in school, you know, I, I passed my GCSEs, I went to college. But as most of all of you who around about my age, or maybe elder or younger, you should know, the kind of place it is, it's easy to get distracted. So, I was always messing around, you know, not quite doing what I was supposed to do. I never quite finished my, my course, but after a year or two, I thought I'd get my act together and, and applied for uni. And um, 
you know, then they say, but I'll cast I've got a place. But then I went back to the square, one again where I was stopped going to my lectures, you know, I couldn't wake up in the morning, because I go to sleep too late, I'll be out all the time. And then I packed that in as well, but my dad was, you know, Alhamdulillah is the best dad in the world, but you know, you need to, you can never repay your parents back for what they've done for you. So I've always thought, you know, I want to do something so my dad can be proud of me as well, so it's something I can achieve. So then I joined um, the Alim class here. And I completed my first 20 weeks. And, um, but then I went to Pakistan because we had a few, you know, family events and so I'm going to come back to it now and I can't wait for the day I go home and show my dad my certificate and say, Buji, I made it. And I could just imagine the look on his face. He'll, you know, he's one of them, he won't ex express what he's feeling, but you know, a little tap on my back, it means he's jumping for joy inside. And I can't wait for that day. But first and foremost, I, I just want to start you know, getting my foundation right, my salah, all of us, our salah. The zikr as well is new to me, but it works, it works <coughs> wonders. <laughs> right now he's going crazy. <laughs> and, um, you know, we can make a difference, you know, the way we've been living our lives all this time. I bet you've all realized now, we don't need our laptops, we don't need our TV, we don't need our Facebook. You know, we don't need all these people that used to drag us down. You know, where are all those boys now that used to ring us all the time, telling us to come out and chill? Have they come over here? I don't, I don't know any of my friends have come to meet me in here. Allah. But all you brothers are here, you've never made me feel alone. You know, I've got, I've got a younger brother who's 18 years old, mashallah, and you know, every guy in here, there's a lot of young, young lads that are under, under 20, 18 years old, 16 years old. They all remind me of my own younger brother. Each time I look at them, even I talk to them as well. They're all sweet. Everybody is sweet. The elders are really sweet. Everybody's so nice. When they're eating in there as well, the staff so polite. They work so hard. I don't think we can thank them enough. They, yeah, they are fasting as well. We don't realize. And we always say, oh no, where's our roti? Where's this and where's that? Then we realize, hold on, they're fasting as well. They have to wait for us to finish so then they can eat. And their salah as well. They need to pray as well. So my advice to everybody is that we should stick together now. We're not, we were strangers, but we're going away as brothers now. We need to go out there, keep links with each other. You know, we don't need an old friends. We've made new friends in here, friends for life as well. You know, a couple of days ago, it was one of the best days of my life. I've been so confused, you know, recently, not knowing where I'm going. Until I, I met Mufti Saab. And... I was so happy, I got, I got bears to them a few days ago. Oh, and you know, the feeling I got was one of the best feelings I've, I've ever had in my life. Oh, I, I don't really, I don't know how to explain, you know, maybe any, anyone else who's been bears to them, they probably can understand. And, um, you know, I don't want to let myself down more than anyone else. And, you know, we were all chosen to come here, as I said. So we were chosen here, which means that we were chosen to make a change to ourselves and to each other. You know, no one can do anything by themselves. If you've got a good team with you, like this place wasn't just made up by one person. There's a big team, a very good team as well, which has brought all of us here together today. So we should we should act upon that. We should use their guidance, use them as as, as an example, and go set an example to other people. <coughs> you know, my younger brother, he looks up to me, just like the rest of the young kids look up to their elders and their family. So I want to go home and I want to set an example. As brother said, as brother said, he's got an intention of keeping a beard. I've, I'm going to try my best, inshallah, to to make sure this doesn't go away. I'm going to inshallah keep the sunnah. I made an intention. It's going to be hard, but uh, just like the calf was hard as well, we made it through. Inshallah, I'll make it through this as well. Inshallah. And um, you know, I don't know what else to say. There's there's a lot of things. You want to say, but I don't know how to put it into words. But I'm sure we all will go out there, and we're gonna we're gonna show the world that we're good Muslims, they're good people, and we're gonna do it together. 
Inshallah. Are we going to do it together? Inshallah. 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 Imam was sitting at the back. When he came long time, he said the same thing to you. Mm-hmm. Well, she got doctors here, Dr. Usman, Dr. Shiraz, now Barista. You know, as young, we were all the same. Our first time here, we came the same, but slowly, slowly, this mahal, the love that you seen, you know, it changed you, and you don't want to let it go. And he said, "Yalla, let me hold on to this until I die." Mm-hmm. So the unity that you seen, in, shall we need to keep this, the love, the muhabbat. You see, you know, we didn't know each other is correct. I don't know most. I don't know, you know, half. Of you, I don't even know your names. I'm sometimes calling. Uh, I think I call him Ransu Usman, and uh, I'm calling him Adam, and he says, "No, that's not me. He's in other tent." <laughs> so, so I'm saying names even that. I say sorry. See, I don't even know. It's the same, but the thing is, now we have that connection. You know, love the Muhammad. <laughs> Allah, you don't. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, ya Rasul.